So what I'll do, I make remove this and I said I wanted to add a user here. And username is for example a mesh. So I said I wanted to enter Mahesh. I wanted to enter or I can make this more clear username Mahesh. I wanted to enter username as a Mahesh. This is what my main test says this time. So my feature says I want to enter this. This is my parameters. I wanted to enter this as a parameterization now. So let's go back and run your this test. You just execute. Uh, you just make here a try run so that we can get in a beginning if anything is not implemented. So we run and it says something. It gives you output. Okay. It says this step is not yet implemented. If you can see, it says this step is not yet implemented. If you can see after username, it has something into a regular expression. It says it has something into a regular expression. So let's copy this. I go back to my step definition. And this is my username step. So I enter just on top of that. Okay. So I said, see, there are two different steps. This one was the previous one, the older one. Now this one is the newer one, where if you can see, it is taking that input parameter, which one, the Mahesh, which I have added here, it is taking this and mention here. Now, if you can see for this test method or step, we have input parameter string. And we need to add that string value here, my name, for example. So string variable name is my name. Now I wanted to add that code here. So the code says, Again, driver dot find element by the name, and I said yes, it is the name. And this time, I wanted to send the value my name. Okay, so this time, whatever input parameter comes or from this regular expression that comes here, I capture here within the input parameter of this method and I pass that here. So this time when I execute this code, it should run and enter Mahesh into a username field. So let me remove this dry run before execution. And let's start the execution one more time. Let's see. So see, this time it all enters the Mahesh here. This time it enters a Mahesh as an input parameter. If you can see, I had given this as a parameter that is Mahesh, and it enters this Mahesh into a actual uh, at the site under test, your SUT. Okay, so this is how we can do the parameterization for a very basic parameterization, which you can pass it from your test runner class. Okay. So you can pass it from here and very basic parameterization. Now, if you want, I wanted to enter password as uh, test automation, for example. Okay. And same password, I wanted to set it in my confirm password. So this time again, if I can make this a uh, dry run here, this will give you the error that two things are still missing. Is two. One is your password, another one is your confirm password. So we go back to the definition file. We added here, those are my definition. One is password, my password, and here my password. And then I can write my code here. My word dot. Let me make it bigger so that you can see. Driver dot find element. 
Same way we can add pop and from password. So we took out that already written here, so we just copy this. We just add here. I want to check it. So this password is correct. Okay. And here this time not in this my confirm password is done. So so I wanted to see how HTML report comes after this execution. I have again add my format equals HTML. Okay, so rerun the scripts again. This time it should open your browser, enter your the given value which we have entered just now, and from parameterization. Yes, test automation, test automation, both are added. Now, if I can go back. Uh, see my report yes just now it is refreshed okay just i open this report and i can see okay i enter username mahesh i enter test automation i can enter a confirm password so all those are in this way whatever we mentioned in our scenario the feature file okay so this is a very basic uh, of of the parameterization now we go more in detail about this parameterization so uh, People may ask you one question also, can I add a multiple uh, options here, monochrome also? So answer is yes, you can add multiple uh, uh, Cucumber options in the single Cucumber file, still it's okay. There is no uh, issue that you can cannot add. Only dry run, make sure whenever you run, make sure that dry run you need to take care of it. Okay, most of the time we forgot it. Now about the feature file, I go back to the feature file. I'll explain some of the scenarios or some of the keywords in the feature file. So if you can see in the feature file, we do have and the feature file keywords. Like first we have the feature. The feature everyone knows feature says, okay, I have the feature like I wanted to uh, uh, submit a transaction. Okay, or I wanted to uh, send an email is my feature. Now, second is your background. Sorry. So background is another keywords. It says before executing your scenario, what you wanted to do. That is a prerequisites. In the background, we mentioned a prerequisites. That is my another. Then I have a scenario. Scenario says, okay. I wanted to do the registered page one submission, then registered page two submission, then registered three. These are our multiple scenarios. So always one feature can have multiple scenario. Let's say I have to log in. So successful login and unsuccessful login are two different scenarios uh, within a single feature. Okay. Then I mention a given. That is my precondition. Then we have a uh, when is action. Then we have then that is expected results. Okay. Then we have and and says and works with all this GWT. Okay, and says a multiple multiple of G or W or T. It works with any one thing, any one of this. Then we have uh, one more that is a but. Okay, but says I I wanted to uh, enter my user credential, but those are wrong. 
but those are wrong that means i wanted to enter user credential to log in but those are wrong user credential so what will happen what is the outcome that's what i wanted to search in that way we use a but then after but and very important that is star now people are thinking uh, like in about bdd this is again we can say uh, uh, very or drawback or what you can consider it is but this gwt is not required this gwt is not required so star is nothing but uh, important things you can add star at every position and still your script will work it is nothing but a global gwt let's try that i'll add here star star see i change all my given when and then and i have added a star here if i can execute this it should execute let's try say it works it works with the star as well because it's a global keyword it's a global keyword it works with everything so when you are not sure what you need to do this this works so the important thing here is gwt is the name for the better readability let's say if i had given all my previous test to any of the scrum master product owner or business analyst they can understand it very clearly if i ask them to provide me the scenario they can provide always in this gwt manner if i ask them to add a uh, user stories with the description then they definitely add the scenario use cases in this manner that is gwt so most of the time what happen in industry so your particular uh, scrum master or your um, business analyst or your product owner will always get the scenarios from the user and those scenarios are forwarded to the actual development team and the testing based on this the test team write their test cases either they follow the tdd approach bdd approach whatever it is they write their test cases in manual as well as in both the automated way same way developer added their test cases in the tdd way that is a use cases okay and that there is nothing but it's their unit test and later on they just execute that so if you can see all are involved within the same manner and once you execute this scenario and send the results so everyone understand how many or scenarios are passed what are the pass percentage of your positive scenario what are the pass percentage of your negative scenarios that's why uh, we have added in that way so let's go back i have removed this now okay now so this is this is one way of parameterization i show now i am going to show you a very important that is uh, a particularly about your data table so i hope you added uh, heard this term data table so data table is nothing but uh, uh, things where where we can use a scenario outline so th there is a difference between scenario and i can say scenario outline when we say scenario outline scenario outline execute the number of times the data you mention for example i'll i i, I have i deleted that right so otherwise i have show you so let me add another feature file here so that i can show you sample sample dot feature okay so i have added another feature here and if you can see there are 
a scenario. This is my scenario and this is my scenario outline. If you can see in my scenario outline, this test will execute the number of times these rows are there. So this test will execute a three times. Oh, sorry, two times. So that is first and two. Okay, again, scenario outline and scenario. There is a difference between these two. This will execute the test, the number of rows you mentioned. This will execute or you can parameterize a single way which we did it here. If you can see this one. Okay, so in the scenario outline what they did, they said I want to write a step with the name. So there's step step name one, two, three. So let's say I have added here a success success login and I said uh, unsuccess login. These are my two steps. I check for my value. That means, or I can say I check for my user. I check for my password. So I just change that name here, user, and I check for my password. So my user here is, for example, Mahesh. I said another user is uh, Wow. I wanted to see a password that is automation. And I wanted to see here a wrong. So if this is my login scenario, so this scenario will execute two times. First for the successful login, second for the unsuccessful login with the wrong username and wrong password. With the wrong username and with the wrong password. So successful login. So again, I want to step with this. That is my steps. That is successful, unsuccessful. First with the valid username password and second with the invalid username and password. This is how scenario outline works. So scenario outline clearly says I wanted to execute this test done, but number of times. This is a difference between scenario and scenario outline. Okay, so I delete this file. No need to confuse yourself here. And I go back and show another previous example. 